Greetings to all learners. Myself Sharda Devri, Associate Professor, Government College of Pharmacy, Amravati, Maharashtra. Welcome you to the self-paced course, Indian Traditional Medicinal Aromatic Plants, recognized by the Swayam and approved by the IICT Delhi. Under this uh, course, Week 1, Indian Traditional Medicine System, Lecture 1, Introduction to the Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani, Homeopathy System. We are going to learn about these systems and its emphasis on the use of the medicinal plants as a herbal remedies. The history of medicinal plants dates back to ancient times as humans have always sought remedies from the natural world to treat the various ailments. The modern medicine often draws the inspiration from these ancient practices. World Health Organization also recognized and asked to integrate these traditional medicine systems into the main healthcare system. India is rich tradition of using the medicinal plants and most of the medicine systems from the India heavily relies on the use of medicinal plants for the healing purpose. The Ayush is acronym that stands for Ayurveda, Yoga, Naturopathy, Yunani, Siddha and Homeopathy and they have been practiced in India for centuries and are officially recognized by the government of India. As a Let's begin with the most um, popular Indian traditional medicine system that is Ayurveda which recognizes the use of plants in combination with other lifestyle practices to maintain the optimal health and well-being. Most important ancient authority writings on Ayurveda are Charak Samhita, Shushrut Samhita, Bahaprakash Nigantu, Sharagandhar Samhita, Ashtanga Rudayam, Ashtanga Sangra, Madhav Nidanam etc. Charak Samhita elaborates more about human body and associated diseases as well as lifestyle. Shushrut Samhita um, describes about the surgery. It is um, evolved after the effects of the war and it describes about 300 different kinds of operation like the hemorrhotomy, amputations, plastic surgery, rhinoplasty, ophthalmic surgeries, lithotomic surgeries and obstetrical procedures. It also describes about 121 different type of the um, surgical instruments that we can see in this image and these are inspired from the shape of the beaks or nails of the birds and animals and they are also named after these uh, particular birds and animals like the crocodile forceps or hogsbill forceps. Shushruta has first time suggested to use the wine and cannabis uh, to introduce the anesthesia and this is the first kind of mention in the history of medicine. Shushruta has also suggested the use of dead body dissection to learn the human body more effectively and this is also the first time in the history of the medicine. The theory of Ayurveda revolves around the Panchamahabhuta, Panchashil, Saptadhatu, Tridosha and Triguna. The Panchamahabhuta that is a Prithvi, Jala, Tej, Vayu and Akash uh, relates with the five senses as well as the five organs and imbalance in Panchashil, Saptadhatu, Tridosha or Panchamahabhuta leads human body to the various disease conditions. Pulse reading or Nadi Pariksha is a most uh, important tool in the diagnosis as per the Ayurvedic text and based on that various uh, treatments are offered by the Ayurvedic physicians that is Vaidus, either Panchakarma, Yoga, restricted Sattvic diet and medications especially the Rasa Aushadis or Kashta Aushadis. Kashta Aushadis are specifically made up of the various plant medicines and this way there is a lot importance of the medicinal plants in next popular system in India it is a Siddha system which is the oldest medical system known to the mankind even before the Ayurveda and which is found to be flourished in Vedic, Dravidian and in this valley civilization. Most of this literature of Siddha system is in a Tamil language and uh, it is found to be evolved in the Tamil Nadu region of the India. 18 Siddhas means 18 spiritual gurus develop this system so it is called as a Siddha system and Sage Aktiyar is considered to be the guru of all Siddhas. The Pamlet manuscript is the most ancient authentic writing of the Siddha system and according to this writing it is uh, considered that the Lord Shiva has first time elaborated this system to his wife Parvati and then their son Muruga. He passed this knowledge to his disciple Sage Agastya and Agastya educated 18 Siddhas. Human being got this knowledge from 18 Siddhas. Siddhas have to get Siddhi means attainment of the natural powers. Generally the basic principle of Siddha and Aritha medicine are almost similar. 
but Siddha system explains in detail about the various basic treatments of uh, disease while surgery like modern treatments are practiced and written, uh, written in detail in Ayurveda. Siddha medicine also classifies physiological components of the human being as Vata, Pitta and Kapha. Siddha system is based on 96 principles and out of this Triguna theory Vata, Pitta and Kapha is more important. Under normal conditions, the ratio between the Vata, Pitta and Kapha is 4 as to 2 as to 1 respectively. Siddha deals with the thousands of herbs, animals, minerals, metals and their combinations. Siddha system believes that the health is perfect state of mental, health, moral and spiritual component. It is based on Andapinda Tathvam, means relationship between the universe and the human bodies. Siddhas are called as Vaithyars. And the diagnosis of Siddha system is again uh, based on the most important tool that is a pulse reading, that is a Nari Pariksha. It also observes the human body for its varnam, color, na, its tongue, mala, that is a faces, khan, that is eyes, swara, that is voice, parisham, touch and nir, that is a yuri. So, based on the diagnosis, the treatments are offered and the treatments includes the panchakarma, yoga, restricted or sattvic diet and the, which is called as the patya. Increased vata dosh shows arrogant behavior, paralysis, heart attack or increased pitta shows graying of hair, anemia and instability. The siddha medicines are divided into the three categories. First one it is the thavaram that is herbal, thadu that is inorganic and janganam that is the animal. Internal as well as external medicines are divided into the 32, 32 categories each separately. Pressure or massage techniques are also the part of a treatment which is called as a thukkanam and there are about 108 verma points to pressure the techniques. The treatment classified into the three categories that is a devamrutam which is a divine method where the medicine prepared from the metals and minerals come under uh, this particular method for the treatment and this medicine required in very small quantity and they have the very quick effect on the human body and they give the quick results for that particular diseases. Next it is the uh, Manudha Marudha which is a rational method where herbal medicines are used which can be in the form of a Churnam, Kudinar or Vedagam and these medicines have the definite lifespan or shelf life. Dose also vary according to the uh, person and they uh, compromise about the 32 types of 22 in, uh, internal medicines and 12 external medicines. Next it is the uh, method of uh, uh, treatment it is the Asura Maruthu that is a surgical methods. Surgical methods involve the incision, excisions or use of the heat or leech and these treatments depend upon the uh, person to person uh, diagnosis. The Siddha system emphasizes preparation of the fresh medicine. Most of the medicines, medicines are combined with the plants or, or the plant extracts. And these are along with the some type of the restricted sattvic diet. Next uh, traditional medicine system is the Yunani system which is also called as the Yunani Tibba or Yunani medicine Arab. And Persian physicians such as Rezes, Avicenna, al zairavi and Ibn Nafis developed this system. The most ancient uh, authenticated books on Inani systems are the Ibn Senna's The Canon of Medicine that is the first book on general means of treatment which describes the treatments are done in three ways and the second book gives rather the detailed pharmacological and pharmacotherapeutic characteristics of 811 drugs among which about 594 drugs are of a plant origin. The theory and principle of Yunani medicine involves the concept of the four humors that is the blood, yellow bile, black bile, phagum and which relates with the four different organs, seasons and age which also relates with the different elements that is air, fire, earth and water and thus it also suggests the temperament which is whether it is the sanguine, choleric, melancholic or phlegmatic. The humors and the open ear blood sedimentation text, test exhibits the close relation where the dark clot at the bottom resembles the black pine. A layer of unclotted erythrocyte resembles the blood. A layer of white blood cells resembles the phlegm and the layer of clear yellow serum resembles the yellow blood. 
Unani system has this concept of Unani system of four humors has given the more light on the various blood related diseases and disorders. It has been uh, expected that abnormality in humor leads to the disease conditions in the human body. And the diagnosis of these uh, various diseases of the human body is uh, after the observation of the seven components that is the elements, temperament, humors, organs, faculties, spirits, functions. And then the uh, Yunani physician Hakim asks the detailed history and then decides the treatment. After diagnosing the disease, the treatment involves either to eliminate the cause, which is called as the izale sabat, and then normalize the humors, that is the tadile aklat, or to normalize the tissues, which is called as the tadile azam. The method of treatment involves the medication, medication of the essential prerequisite of health, which is called as the ilaj bil tadbir, or panchakarma, or pharmacotherapy, that is ilaj bil adviya, or surgery, that is ilaj bil yad. Under the Ilazbil Tadbir, that is a regimental therapy, use of exercise, change in the climate, massage, venesection, leaching, cupping or diet are included. In a Ilazbil Dawa, that is a pharmacotherapy, use of the plant, animal and mineral origin drugs either alone or in combination are prescribed. In Ilazbil Yad, that is a surgery, certain surgical interventions are part of the treatment. Unani medicine uh, involves uh, use of a simple physical means to cure the disease. Some of the techniques which are used in Ilas Bil Tadbir, that is a regimental therapy, include the Hizmaha, which is called as a cupping that you can see in this picture. Then fast, that is a many sections or tarik sweating, idar, ibul, that is a diuresis, hamam, that is a Turkish bath, or dalak, that is a massage, and etc. The Unani Roses forms can be solid, liquid, or it can be semi-solid like the tila that is a liniment or khisanda that is a infusion, joshnada that is a de decoction, hub that is a pills. In this way, Unani system plays very important role by utilizing the various medicinal plants either alone or in combination with the uh, animal products or the minerals to cure the human Next uh, Indian system is, is the homeopathy system, which is a uh, recent system as compared to the Ayurveda, Siddha or Unani system. Homeopathy means system of similar uh, suffering because homeo means similar and pathos means suffering. German physician Samuel Hennemann first stated the basic principle of homeopathy in 1796, which is also known as the law of similars, means let like be cured by like. This system was developed by the Dr. Samuel Hennemann in Germany and it was mentioned in the book the curative powers of drugs and some examination of the previous principles which was based on his study of effect of synchona on his body where the actual found the law of similar which indicates the similar between the drug and the disease. The Ayurveda Siddha Yunani systems involves the use of the medicines that are not having any relation with the symptoms of the diseases. But in homeopathy Dr. Samuel Henman has suggested that the picture of uh, symptoms of the uh, drug in a normal healthy human being should match with the disease symptoms and this is most of the uh, uh, interesting part of the theory and principle of the homeopathy. Homeopathy revolves around, around the seven principles under that the first it is the principle of individualization where no two individuals in the world are alike so the disease affecting two individuals cannot be similar and so the medicine used to cure the same disease in the different individuals should not be same, it should be different. Next principle, it is the principle of similar means the medicine should produce the similar symptom of a disease in a healthy individual and then it should be used to treat the uh, particular disease. Then the principle of minimum dose that minimum medicine at a time without any combination with a uh, minimal dilution should be used. Law of proving explains that the medicine should have the capacity to produce the disease state in the healthy individual and the law of dynamization uh, or drug dynamization involves the medicine should preserve the normal state of healthy body after the disease conditions. Vital force uh, theory describes that medicine should have the capacity to arouse the sufficient energy to maintain the healthy body after the treatment. The diagnosis in the homeopathy was the detailed history uh, of uh, detailed uh, complete hereditary history 
of the patient as well as observation of the moods, habits, skin, eyes, tongues, blood, urine, etc. The treatment involves the use of the plant material, microorganisms, animal materials or animal secretions, tissues, cell lines, etc. Even the hormones are also utilized in the homeopathy. Uh, such a uh, text uh, proofs are there. Homeopathic uh, preparation involves the dynamization or potentiations where the substance is diluted with alcohol or distilled water and then vigorously shaken in the process called as the succession. There is a use of certain logarithmic scale that is a D, DH or X or that is a C, CH, uh, K or CK. Under these dilutions, it is, uh, it is to be uh, considered that when the uh, letters D, DH or X are used, then uh, this should be used to 1 as to 10 decimal dilutions while C, CH or K or CK, they are to be successive dilutions 1 to 100 that is a uh, centesimal dilutions while the q or lm that denotes the successive dilutions from 1 to 50000 1 to 50000 in this way uh, different dilutions are uh, mentioned in the homeopathy minimum drug single drug uh, no combinations uh, or rare combinations are allowed in the homeopathy Plants are widely utilized in homeopathy system to cure the human being. Next, recently added traditional system, it is the Sova Rigpa or Amji system of medicine. Uh, it is one of the oldest and well-documented system of traditional medicine system in the world. The term Sova Rigpa is derived from the Bhoti language, which means knowledge of healing. And it is believed to be originated from India, from the Bhagwan Buddha. And it is having the significance healthcare system practiced. The uh, system Sova Rigpa is found to be practiced in Tibet, Mongolia, Bhutan, some parts of China, Nepal, Himalaya regions of India and few parts of former Soviet Union. Four Tantra that is uh, Yudh Z is the fundamental textbook of the Sova Rigpa Amji system of medicines and it describes about the Pancha Mahabhuta and Tridosha. Next here are the different Ayurvedic formulations and as per the CDSCO uh, Drugs and Cosmetics Act, uh, these uh, shelf lives are given. There are the various solid, semi-solid and uh, liquid doses forms mentioned in the Ayurveda are elaborated in this table. That is a Vati, Utika, Churna, Kvatha, Swarasa, Arka, Avaleha, Lepa, Malhar, then Sattva, Panaka and their uh, shelf lives, expected shelf lives as per the Drugs and Cosmetic Acts or CDSU rules, Ayush uh, rules, these are mentioned. Siddha system formulations are mentioned that is a Karu, Karkam, Churnam, Vadagam, Manna, Pahu, Innai, Mathirai, while various Unani doses forms formulation that is a Safu, Zarur, Kohal, Nufuk, Gaza, Gaila, Nura, Ark, Bakur, Luk, Labub. These all uh, various uh, formulations till date are available through the various Unani pharmacy or Siddha pharmacy, Ayurvedic uh, pharmacies and these are utilized by the patients from the India as well as nearby countries even in various parts of the world to cure the various diseases and they have found to be very beneficial to the human being. Most of these formulations involves the use of the medicinal plants. Today we have learned about the various systems of uh, medicines that are traditionally known Ayurveda, Siddha, Yunani, Homeopathy, Sova, Rigpa and these medicine systems have emphasis on use of the medicinal plants either alone or in combination with the minerals, metals and animal products to cure the various types of diseases or prevent the diseases. Thank you.